Ready to play? You hang? Just put the... Thank you. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kiran Marilis, Scotland. And on my left, Johan Wong, England. Kiran Marilis to serve. Lavo, play. I'd like to welcome people to the Emirates Arena. It's um, Court 1, which is the uh, centre court. And it's uh, Kiran Marilis, who is the Scottish number one player. And uh, he's playing against Yu Hang Wang from England. This should be a comfortable game for Kieran, one where he can uh, get to feel the court and um, really settle himself into the championships. Serve is over. One. Oh. Kieran has uh, established himself as British number two uh, behind Raj Usef and um, has the Left. ability to play very, very well. Now that's a really strange thing that's happened on the uh, One. Uh, oh. court there. Um, the shuttle's stuck on the top of the uh, net and you will very rarely see this and a lot of people think it's a, a point, it's not, it's a let. Kieran at present playing a real Two, rallying style. Probably trying to get used to the court and uh, is happy to uh, know that he can uh, step up the pace and put Save the pressure over on. To all. This young English lad.
Serve is over. Three, two. Serve is over. Three, oh. This is a superb arena to play in, but it will have drift. It's such a large hall that um, it's not quite the same as playing down at your local badminton club. There'll be a drift uh, from one side to the other and from end and to end as three. well. Superb smash from uh, Yu Hang there. Serve is over. Four all. And it's all even at the start of the uh, start of the match. Very good play by Kieran Merrilies there. Yeah. You'll Serve see that. Over. Um, Five, four. Good quality men's singles players use the middle of the net a lot. And um, this is to narrow down the angles so that when the uh, opponent ha lifts, they're lifting out to a side. And they've only got to cover then one half of the court. So there we saw Big Kieran just four. upping the pace, and once he ups the pace, um, more gaps appear on his opponent's side, and um, it becomes a lot more difficult for the English boy to um, to play. Play. It's not giving him any breathing space. There you see the middle of the court being used. And just a little gap Seven, um, four. appearing now. Kieran looking quite comfortable. On, on a point that people could look at here is these are two good quality singles players, but notice they don't play as tight as you'd expect them to. They're, they're not really using um, the full court, and this is because they like to be ultra safe and uh, play percentages, and that's how they get to be where they are so so good because they're they're playing the shot with big margins nine four and relying on the opponent making mistakes often to get points you, you'll find that points are often lost by mistakes rather than just being won So Kieran put a lot of fine Seven, shots four. in there, a lot of pressure shots, but it was actually lost by a mistake by the boy hitting into the net from a very tight net shot that Kieran um, played. Um, but it does make my point that a lot of the uh, uh, points are lost. Very good jump clip from uh, Kieran Eleven, within that match. And interval. At one time they were 4 all, it's now 11-4 and Kieran's looking very uh, comfortable. The England setup actually used this tournament and 
uh, the next week's tournament, which is the Welsh, and then there's another tournament after uh, the Irish as a sort of a breeding ground for their players. And if they perform well, they'll get more tournaments. If they don't, uh, then they're struggling within that system. So uh, these results are quite important um, for the players. Court one, uh, 20 seconds. That, uh, court one, Yuhang 20 Wang seconds. Here, he's um, Thank you, coach. got a difficult job on because Kieran is... Uh, Probably quite a few places above him in the, in any ranking list, and you um, he's uh, coming into it as an apprentice. And uh, Kieran's learnt the trade. Eleven four. Play. Serve is over. Five. 11. So a simple attack from Yuhan Wang there, but um, Kieran just tried to go a bit too tight with the cross court block, which is, was the right shot to do. And uh, that's another point that's over. worth mentioning is uh, 12, Kieran five. just played a, a nice reverse clip down to Yuhan Wang's backhand side and then knew that it was going to go to the net and followed it up very quickly because that's where it mainly goes except when you start getting up to the very high levels of badminton and then they're trying to use reverse psychology all the time and not put it where you're expecting it service over 6-12 Again, Kieran just trying to play Seven, a little bit too tight. 12. And it is a little bit of a feature of his game that he uh, he sort of plays really well in patches and then sort of um, makes a few mistakes. Service over. If he could cut out those errors, 30, Kieran really Seven. would be in top flight of Babington. Service over. So it was a simple Eight lift to Yuhan's, uh, what I would have said should have been his round the head, but he took it on his backhand side, and that's a weakness. Such a tight call that Nine moment. Nine, thirteen. Um, nothing in that for Kieran. And again, two easy errors. and Ten, uh, 13. So from 11-4, it's now 10-13. And um, this is letting his opponent back into the match. Wh whereas, really, uh, Yuhan Wang has done very, very little to um, uh, to get himself Service in the match. Over. It's basically 14, been uh, Kieran giving away um, simple points. And if he could learn to curb that, a lot of players would have problems with Kieran because his quality of badminton is excellent. 15, 10. Really good um, cross smash from you hang there. 15. And he's doing well at 11 15. He's um, Still in a shouting reach within this match, but it's a sort of match where any time that um, Kieran wants to up the pressure, and that's up in the pressure, actually putting uh, um, tight net shots in like that, controlling the net. There's a shot to the centre again. And there's a careless one out the side from... You hang. So it's um, over. it's really 16, a game 11. of errors. This at the moment is um, I think Kieran's got the edge at the net, and uh, he's got the better quality of shot. There was a smash at the body. You see this a lot in top class uh, singles 11. now. That they smash at the body and then cover the net. 
or they smash cross court and then cover the front line. And what they would call set pieces really in football. 18, we have set pieces in badminton. Players have patterns that they always do and when you get um, the really good players they learn to break those patterns. There's a shot to the uh, middle again and notice how expensive the sidelines are for this young 19, lad. He's, um, he's really made a, a, a huge number of errors out of the sideline. Good deceptive hold there from uh, Kieran within that 20, rally, a little bit of deception and um, that's the sort of thing that gives him the edge. Right shot. Game. And as Kieran was piling on the pressure there, you will see him hit and then try to uh, 21, uh, move in quickly. And that's uh, exactly what I was saying earlier, that players hit and then know where the next shuttle is going to. It's called reading the game. So Andrew Bowman, the Scottish uh, coach, is speaking with Kieran. And... Um, Mike Adams is speaking with Yuhat. My guess is Andy will be telling Kieran to uh, try to keep the pressure on, not to let the boy get into the game and um, to try and get a lead and keep him out of the game. And Kieran can do this if uh, he wants to just up the pace a little bit because um, the boy's got one pace and Kieran's got another level at least in his, um, in his game. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. On the match prior to this, there was um, Peter Gade uh, coaching a uh, young French boy, and um, I'm sure a lot, lot of people would like him as a coach. But he's uh, taking over the uh, French national coach's job on a number of days contract per year and you've noticed a real advance in the uh, French players Double. results and I've heard he's a very Play. hard taskmaster. Service over, one left. So you'll see Kieran using the attacking style of serving short in fact, they're both doing that. But Kieran's just played a superb spinning net shot. And then he was going for a smash at the body. Two love. So it's two love down on careless errors. And he, he doesn't really want to let this boy get into the match too much. Because then um, you've got a job on. And there you see it, Four. Kieran really applying the Save pressure. And it, in this match One, there's been a few two. smashes at the body and that's probably what Andy's um, told Kieran to do within the uh, 90 seconds. You can often tell the uh, tactics uh, as a player comes out of the gate what they're trying to do within the match. There you go, smash at the body. And it s sounds like it's a uh, really good tactic because uh, he's got two through and that's brought him level.
three, two. So seeing some aggression from Kieran here. And to me, I like his style when he's just a little bit more attacking. He hasn't got to be full out attack, but he's got to have weapons in there. Lovely shot from Kieran there. Just changed the pace of the uh, rally. I really think he would do better to uh, smash at the right hip of uh, Yu Hang Tang. On his backhand side, he just seems that a little bit steadier to me. Play. Lucky net call from Five, Kieran. Five, two. But at 5 2, he's, he's got control of this match at the moment. So it means that he scored the last five points. And that'd be a nice tight net shot that he's just played there. And there's a big. Uh, the big attack big and that seems two. to be working seven two Very good Bend shot, over. bit of an unreturnable Three, net seven. shot there. Well, Kieran's been Bend really over. quick into the net, Eight. he's uh, really uh, been reading um, his attack Three. well and uh, moving in to take the next shot. So Yuhan Wang, if he was able to uh, put a deeper defence in or even a lift back Nine, up, risk a lift three. back up, um, that would check Kieran a bit. But at the moment, he's only uh, doing one reply, which is basically um, a straight return. Service over, 4-9. Another careless one out of the uh, side there, and that's Service a over, really common error when someone's turning four. into their deep forehand like that. Um, you'll often see players putting out the side. Just got to learn to bring it much more into court. Not try for that point, but um, not try for that shot, but um, look to get back on top of the rally. Kieran again playing a really, really tight net shot 11, and uh, forcing the lift the that went out.
Code 1, 20 seconds. Code 1, 20 seconds. So it's very similar to the first set. Um, Kieran's uh, at the halfway point, and it's 11 4, and that's exactly what it was in the uh, first set. Now, 11 4. Can he make it a lower score in this, this match and prove that his concentration has stayed there? This will have been an excellent match for Kieran to start Stays off over. with because he's in control of it. Five, and, eleven. Um, he's able to feel the court. Because as the rounds go on, it gets much, much tougher. Five, eleven. Very good play there from Yu Hang Wang. He um, was moving the shuttle quickly, took it early at the net, got it over Kieran's head. And that's something you don't see Same enough over. in men's singles. Kieran well, really put eight. pressure on the short serve there. Um, looks like he's uh, moving in to attack it and then just softly puts it over the net. And that's the sort of skill that Kieran has. He's a very, very good shot player. Got a lot of flair. But a little bit prone to mistakes. Service over. 7 12. And Eight, there you're 12. seeing a similar sort of pattern, you know. Um, Johan has uh, scored four points in the second half of the game and Kieran has scored one so he's not really uh, maintaining the pressure and until um, he feels a need to put more pressure on um, Yuhan then uh, he lets him get away with uh, too much and that's that would be my criticism of um, Kieran that he's got to learn to uh, put more pressure on his opponents and not let them off the hook. Beautiful net shot. Really tight. 14-8. And it's been Kieran that's held the control of the net right throughout this match. He's had more confidence around the net, been prepared to play the tight net shot. And that's 15, a move that we've seen Kieran eight. do a few times. He's uh, really uh, moved in quickly and then just put a deft touch over the net. And that's really hard for your opponent to read because something quick is coming at them and it could be your body, um, but then you're just touching the shuttle over the net. Service over, 9.15. So it really is like 10, a copycat 15. of the um, of the first game here. It's as though the... Uh, Service over, he lets 16, you have 10. Wang get back in the, the match a little bit and then decides enough's enough and then puts pressure on. 
and then brings in the bigger attack that really gets him the points. Really, Yuhan Wang, he uh, really uh, took some pressure in that rally and absorbed uh, much of what Kieran was throwing at him um, in, in a very good manner, actually. And then uh, uh, Kieran just kept the pressure on him and another mistake out of the sidelines. Eighteen ten, and it really is a similar pattern that um, when Kieran wants to put on the pressure, he's put on the pressure. Nineteen ten. Probably hard to spot at the start of that rally, but actually um, Kieran just put a little bit more on his short serve, which um, doesn't enable the opponent to play tight to the net. And Kieran really looking comfortable now playing Let's beautiful badminton, rally style badminton that gets him used to the hall. And a perfect match for Kieran to start off with really uh, uh, really giving him the feel of the hall the match feel won by the and the release and 21 uh, 11 him, uh, 21 10 settled down now all we need is for thousands of you to come and support him because uh, believe me when you've got a home player um, playing and really uh, giving their best they want the home crowd to support them and we could do with that here tonight but um, there's always tomorrow. Please come. Because Babington, when you see it at this level, and you see it in, in, in the flesh, it's, uh, you can feel the mo more power on the shots. You can uh, tell that there's more pace in the movement of the player and the shuttle. And um, you, you hear the sound of the crisp hitting that they're able to do. And we'll wait for another match. Thank you.